Hi everyone, I am Doreen, a first year member of Heart of New Jersey, a chapter of Sweet Adeline's a, uh, international organization for a cappella singing of the barbershop style. And if this is your first year, then you're in for a treat. No, seriously, really, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, but one of the things you may have noticed, if you haven't already, is there's a lot of terms and, and lingo that they use in Sweet Adeline's that you don't use in everyday life. And I think one of the more important ones, though you're early in your journey, is the word diphthong. Diphthong, to be spoken and uh, typed, spelled out carefully, um, is basically when you take a word that you thought you were pronouncing correctly the whole time, um, like the word coin, and you totally mess it up and sing it in a way that sounds strange to you, but then when you sing it this weird, strange way, your director goes, yes, yes, exactly, that's what I was looking for. And you're thinking, um, great, but I don't feel like I'm speaking English anymore. And that's when the light bulb goes off. You're not speaking English anymore, my friend. No, no, you are singing uh, and uh, speaking a sweet Adlanese. Mm. So, um, the word diphthong uh, has been very prevalent in the first uh, year of my journey here uh, because it, it took a word like day or night, which I, I say with such uh, poise and grace. You know, things change like night and day. And I think it sounds pretty good when I say it. No one at work has problems understanding me. People at home can understand me as well. But um, apparently, it's really important to extend vowels in barbershop singing because it does a whole variety of things, which we'll talk about later. Um, but you need to spend a lot of time on the vowels, which is where diphthongs come in handy. So the word that you thought you were saying correctly, such as day and night, when you sing it, you need to really extend out the vowels, and then you need to turn them. We'll get into the turning later. But what you need to know about diphthongs is that it's not like the word coin, where it has two vowels, and you're expecting a uh, dip in the vowel. Coin. There's two sounds there. That makes sense. You say that diphthong naturally. When you sing, you need to swoop in there with that vowel and sing the word night by singing it in a different way. By singing it, saying, hold on, wait, night. Sorry, that was really important. I'm not, not really natural at that yet. Night. Night. Did you, did you hear that? So, coin, night. That's diphthong, basically. I, I'm not going to go any further into that because that's, that's really the, the limit to my knowledge. Um, but there's a lot of words where you're going to have to use this diphthong thing. And um, I just want to let you know it's completely normal to feel a little weird when you're singing these words in a way that sounds wrong to you because well you're just not speaking English anymore you're, it's like I said before sweet Adelanese. Um so there's lingo there's some jargon to know uh, but don't let it overwhelm you um, you're gonna learn a lot this first year and you're gonna have a lot of fun and let yourself be immersed in the culture and let yourself learn and let the music in and beautiful things will come out. So that's really it for this week's sort of mini lesson. I wish you well on this journey and hope to speak to you or see you again soon. Okay, bye.